Hello, plant-based homestead prepper family and nation. In this video, we're gonna talk about as preppers and as plant-based people get addicted to feeling better. Becoming addicted, get addicted to feeling better. So cue the three, two, one, go. <laughs> plant-based homestead prepper where we make prepping fun all right hello 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 to you all welcome back to plant-based homestead prepper where we make prepping fun <laughs> so today <clears throat> i want to talk to you guys about getting addicted to feeling good get addicted to feeling good and the reason why this has come about is as humans and living in the society that in which we live in we are bombarded with bad crap all the time and what I mean by that is most of us eat the sad American diet I mean the standard American diet which is the sad diet sad sad American diet too however you want to put it standard American diet sad American diet is just terrible it's pitiful uh, and it is it's consistent of high carbs low fiber low nutrition high sodium when you're eating that type of diet it may take six days it may take six years it may take 60 years but eventually it's going to catch up with you and when it catches up with you the telltale signs are the high blood pressure the diabetes cancers the strokes those type of things I want to come in and talk to you about getting addicted to feeling good because you don't know you're feeling bad until you start feeling good case in point prior to January 2019 I had a constant roaring headache on a scale when I wake up in the morning between a three some days it'd be a seven and I have a very high tolerance of pain high high tolerance of pain for most people a three to me would probably be like a, a six or a five you know where you would have to take some pops and meds and I got to a point where a certain day some days I was popping bare aspirin just like that as soon as I wake up that's how bad the headaches were I went on a, um, a water cleanse commonly known as a water fast where you drink water for three days four days five days 21 days on my fourth day number four headaches went away and they had gone away for roughly eight months okay that's what and the title of this is, is is getting getting addicted to feeling good okay remember that remember that title and the reason why I want to put this in the prepper community is because we as preppers we as uh, plant-based people and I'm putting this in both my, both all my groups because this is this pertains to all of us because we are all 90% of us are American in, in these groups and because of the way we eat we don't realize that we're not feeling good now I can track back this year to February I mean February <laughs> May the 4th my birthday this year I had gone from January to May with a major raw food diet May the 4th I introduced um, I introduced um, good lord I can't dairy <laughs> I couldn't even remember it for a minute I introduced dairy back into my diet and from that moment on from May June July August and September September I've been going down a slippery slope of just snacking. We used to call it gee donk in the Navy, which is like just snack foods. And I wasn't doing I wasn't doing any of this prior to May. That's why I know that's why I know that I can confidently tell you that you have to get addicted to feeling good because you don't know you feel good, you know, because you feel so bad. August was the turning point for me. August, I said, you know what? 
I'm getting everything in. Now, I haven't eaten any meat since January. But August, I said, you know what? I'm getting it all in. I'm going to get it out of my system. I ate as much Mexican as I wanted. I ate as many snacks as I wanted. I ate as many M&Ms, Oreo cookies. I ate it all, okay? Because I knew that come September, it was payday. And when I say payday, it means you got you to suffer, you got to sacrifice to get your health back and get your, get your body back, get your shape back, get back in shape to take control of what you need to, which is your health. Because without health, you have nothing. You have to agree with me on that. You can have all the money in the world that you want, but if you don't have your health, you have absolutely zero. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So, having said all that, start of September, my wife and I have been on this journey where we're, we're, we're fasting most of the day. We have a window of about two to three hours that we're eating, but we're eating only raw. It has been killing me, y'all. But I'm going to tell you something. I had gotten to the point where I had gotten up to 192 pounds. Okay, I was down. For those that don't know my story, I had gotten down to 157. All right? Then I started rebuilding. I started rebuilding the right way, eating raw food, eating, or, eating organic, exercising, building it up. Once I got to a point where I got over 174, I was like, ooh, I'm not feeling good. And I lost control. I was feeling bad. I started feeling bad. I didn't realize it at the time. But once I get got past one, and, and, and it got, I, I kept setting these marks. I was like, okay, I'm not going to allow myself to get past 175. I'm not going to allow myself to get past 180. I'm not going to allow myself to get past 185. And I kept going past those marks. And I kept resetting. I was like, okay, well, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get it together. I'll get it together. And now I see how people allow themselves to get, you know, 250, 270, 280, 300, 310, 315, because you just keep passing those benchmarks, not in a good way, but you keep passing those marks and you're like, okay, well, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. And that procrastination starts setting in and it gets to a point where it's like, you got to get to a point where enough is enough. You got to get there. And you also got to get to a point where not only enough is enough, but you started getting, you start feeling better and you get addicted to feeling better. Case in point, here it is September the 12th. Now we've been doing, you know, fast most of the day, eat two day, you know, eat, eat two or three hours, raw, raw foods. And the scale has started pointing back down. That's number one. The headache went away. When I got to 192, when I got the 190, the headache started. It was very, very low. It was, it was a low roaring, but I noticed it. The pressure behind my eyes started. Okay, that was something else I noticed. Um, and if you're waking up every morning and you're feeling pressure behind your eyes, you're feeling a, a low, it's not really a headache, it's more like your head feels stuffy, okay? But you can't get any relief. You blow your nose, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever, it doesn't matter. You, you, you don't get relief until you take some meds. Now, I didn't take meds because I'm not a medicine person. But if you have to take meds to to relieve the pressure, that means you got to do something. Okay, you got you have got to do you. You're at the point of no return. Okay. And, I, and I'm glad I went through all this so I can help spread the message and help you guys help whomever needs to hear this message. Because once I got to 190, it started and I was like, oh, I recognize this. This is that headache that's about to come. I ate a little bit more, and bam, that headache came back. Once I got to 190, I felt the pressure. Actually, I started feeling when I was like at 180, 185. I started feeling a little, little, little slight pressure. But once I got to 190, I was like, oh, there, there it is. I recognize you. And then I tried, I kept going. I was like, I'm going to push, push this envelope as far as I can go. And... I got to 192 and I was like, yep, if I go to 195, that headache's going to be an unbearable headache. Now, remember, I had gotten up to like 250. So I was dealing with that from, from like 180 to like 250. That's a long time to be dealing with a headache. Okay. So hopefully, hopefully this is helping somebody because you have to get to a point, especially as preppers, as plant-based people, as people that's trying to take care of our health, as people that's trying to take our health back. You've got to get to a point where you're like, you know what? Enough is enough. 
I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of food controlling me. I'm sick and tired of not having my health. I'm sick and tired of being on this meds because you can reverse it. You have the power to reverse it all. And we have a we have groups set up to help. Okay, we have groups set up to help. This this channel right here, Plant Based Homestead Prepper, that's what this channel is all about. It's about living a more plant-based lifestyle, which is going to help you control your weight. It's going to help you lose the weight. It's going to help you get your health back. Homesteading, putting things in your home that you need. All a homestead is is just putting things in your home and turning your home into a place that, that you are becoming more self-sufficient. And being a prepper is just having, having the things that you need at the time that you need them. Whether it may be a, a EMP strike, a zombie apocalypse, or just simply somebody coming over for dinner, how would it, how would it, how nice would it be to have have the items that you need consistently in your home that you didn't have to run to the grocery store all the time, that you didn't have to run to Walmart all the time. You know, think about how much time, energy, and money we spend. Going back and forth to Walmart, back and forth to Target, back and forth to Food Line, back and forth to Kroger, back and forth to Harris Teeter. Think about how much time we spend doing that. And all this is just changing your mindset, just doing things a little differently. That's all it is. So I want to encourage you to get to become addicted and get addicted to feeling better. Because I promise you, once you get to the point where you start feeling better. Because we have a saying in the group, to know better is to do better. But do better until you feel better. Because once you feel better, it's going to make you do better. All right? So, there's a video coming up somewhere. I don't know where it's going to be. It's going to be up here somewhere. So, watch that video and uh, subscribe, okay, if you haven't subscribed yet. So, thank you all for being here. I love you, love you, love you, love you. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. And remember, I didn't, I didn't say it in this video. Water, 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 water. Take care.